Yeah, excited for this weekend. Um, finally at home again in MLS play, so that'll be good for us. I think we got a, a nice week off, and I think everybody's uh, we're, we're going to kind of use it for this last phase of the season to, to get going with these last seven games and then hopefully push into playoffs. But we know that this game's big for us. Uh, it can kind of create a gap between uh, us and maybe the, the last couple playoff spots, so uh, we need this win. Um, your first impressions of Reggie as the newest addition to the Rapids? Yeah, I played against him many times. Uh, good player. He's obviously getting adjusted to the altitude. He's, he's only trained one time, but um, good guy. I know he's a good player, and we're excited to have him. He provides good depth for us uh, throughout this last part of the season. I'm sure he's going to start playing games here soon once he gets going. But, um, yeah, I think he's, he's huge for us. He's a good athletic 1v1 defender, and uh, that's something we need in terms of uh, there's stuff in transition that we got to work on, and, and that's kind of his game. He's quite good at that, uh, so we're excited to have him. Things went really fast for a little bit there at the League Cup, just so many. Then you have the one game, I have an international break. But it's going to come really fast here for this last month. So just how have you guys been trying to catch back up to speed and say, hey, we got to go right back to where we were in the middle of the race? Yeah, once Chris got us back in on Sunday, um, it was kind of get, get your heads away for a week and and uh, go take your mind off soccer for a bit so that when you come back, you're fully focused and, and we can ramp up towards the weekend. And that's what he said these last couple of days. I think he's really focused on this game for Portland. <clears throat> They've got us twice uh, very good, and there hasn't been many teams that have done that to us this year. So we're excited for the opportunity again to play them, and especially at home. I think that's going to be big for us. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be a big test, and we know that we have a lot of games coming up quick uh, here at the end of the season, and, and we're just focused at one at a time. So Portland this weekend is a start. Uh, we need three points there. You guys, you, know, you, you find the right moments to press. You like to play in the space and the transition. You play in the channels. To take somebody like Reggie, who you know has done that, who's dealing at the national level, how much does that help you guys have a weapon like that that you can bring in that already knows kind of how to play the type of spaces and the type of transition football that you guys play? Yeah, he'll be huge for us. He can play right side, left side. I think even uh, he could play center back if you need to, to fill him in there at the end of a game, which is huge for us. We like our, our full backs to attack and, and get into those wide channels. We like our wingers a little bit more inside, so uh, it kind of helps us to have an athletic defender out there that likes to use those spaces. So, yeah, he'll be huge for us in those spaces, and hopefully he can get a few assists towards the end of the year. Paul, ¿qué nos puede decir de un rival como Portland Timbers que ya nos ganó dos veces esta temporada? Sí, jugábamos dos partidos difíciles en Portland, pero tenemos confianza que porque estamos en casa esa vez y ganamos mucho mucho en casa. Solo perdimos dos veces este año y sentimos que jugamos un otro juego en casa y y tenemos los jugadores en altitud para, para jugar para uh, 90 minutos, uh, que está difícil para el otro equipo. Um, y vamos a ir con confianza y, y sí, uh, eso es. ¿Tuviste tiempo para descansar un poco después de un mes muy, muy intenso? Sí, sí, creo que sí, porque todos los equipos uh, son peleados por, por los playoffs, o están peleados por los playoffs, um, y sabemos que Solo están uh, cuatro uh, uh, espacios para jugar en casa en, en la primera vez, en, en la primera partida en los playoffs y, y queremos uh, estar en, en ese, ese área. Um, so sentimos que necesitamos ganar los, los cuatro partidos en casa y entonces sentimos que estamos en una buena posición para uh, terminar en este, uh, este uh, arriba de la mesa. Cool. You obviously went to Europe and returned to MLS. So I guess what was the biggest adjustment for you coming back to the States and, and from your experience doing that, any advice you have for Reggie as he kind of navigates the same kind of move? Yeah, it is tough a little bit at, at the start. You know, you feel like when you're over here at the start, you always want to go to Europe. That's all of our dreams as, as young Americans. And a lot of the guys on this team have done it now. Um, we probably have five or six that, you know, have had that dream, have went over there and now have came back. and. That's why we feel like we have a good core here, a, a good group that all has kind of went through similar experiences. Um, but for Reg, I think obviously he's older than me, so I, I think he can figure it out quite well. But it does take a little bit of time to adapt. We hope he, he comes flying uh, right away. Um, you know, he's in he's in good good form, good fitness in terms of he just had a full preseason with QPR, and you know he's only been off for a couple of weeks. So I don't think there will be too much of a, a transition for him, considering the type of player that he is and how he fits MLS, because he was flying before he left. So I think he'll fit right in. Um, but if not, you know, there's obviously time for the, in these last seven games to get him ramped up for the playoffs.
particularly. I think we have a lot of guys in this team, like you said, that are maybe in that pool, and <clears throat> we feel like we could be uh, in the setup. I think there's probably three or four of us that know that we could be playing with the group that's there right now, and you know we've set it between each other. We feel like there's a certain mentality that's needed to play for the U.S., and we feel like we can bring that. Um, you obviously have to perform at your club level to, to have a chance there, but I hope that you know he has, him and his staff give everybody a, a good look, and um, hopefully we all have a chance to make an impression on him and, and hopefully get called into camp because that's an honor. Uh, but you do have to earn it, and that's why we're excited. We feel like we have a good coach here to, to give us the platform we need to be able to be put in that position to play for the national team. How has the team changed since the first League's Cup game? I think that game and, and LAFC were quite similar in terms of we've gotten caught in transition a lot and we've had a couple of those games this year where that has happened and we've kind of had it's been a little bit of a wake-up call we've kind of had to rebound because we've won against almost every other type of opponent there is in the league besides the transition based teams those are the teams that have given us uh, a bit of struggle so I think for us, it was a little bit of a reset, get back to the things that we focused on at the start of the year in terms of dealing with transition and, and that rest defense shape. Um, so we've been working a lot on that because we know that Portland probably have one of the most potent attacks in the league uh, and we can't give them space in transition. And you touched on it in Spanish, just the confidence that you have here at home to play, um, you know, take on Portland, not in their, their house. So can you just touch on that for our English speaking yeah. viewers? Yeah, we feel like we have confidence at home. We've only lost two games here. Um, and those games, they weren't like games where we got completely outplayed. One was in the last minute where we lost, and San Jose, we scored five in the first half and got unlucky with a couple offsides calls. So we feel like we're we're in good spirits at home, but you have to earn it. We haven't played here in a while. It's been a month or so in terms of league play at home. Uh, so we need to regain that form quickly because these last four games at home are huge to, to clinch a top four spot in the playoffs. And then Braden Norris for the Denver yep. Post is asking, this team doesn't lack character, but do you see this game against Portland as a chance to show who this team really is? Yeah, I think so. Um, you know, this is a team that we feel like we can face in the playoffs. Um, and these are the games that you need to win, and especially at home, you know, say you we can clinch a top four spot and uh, you, you can get that home field advantage. This is a game that you need to win against a good team. Um, so, yeah, th this is definitely a test, a challenge, and a chance to show character. But we know we have seven more chances um, to kind of clinch this top four spot. So we'll take it one game at a time, but we know that home games are definitely